Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Prag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see control structures in Apex programming language. Now, what do you mean by control structures in any programming language? Control structures are those structures which control the flow of execution of statements. Structure which decides execution of statements in any programming language. Now, see, there are three types of control structures. First is sequence structure, second is selection structure, and third is loop structure. Now, what is the meaning of this? See, first is sequence structure. From the name only, it will be clear. Structure which executes the statements in a sequence, one by one, one after another. That is called a sequence structure. Look at this flowchart. Now, see, first action, then second action, after the third action. Likewise, statements are getting executed. Starting from the first statement up to the last statement. This is called as sequence structure. Now see, simple example. So see, here I have defined two variables a and b. I have assigned 3 to a and 4 to b. Then I have defined one more variable c. In third statement, I am adding a and b and then I am printing c that is addition on the screen. Right? So here we are executing statement one by one. Right? So this is sequence structure. This is sequence structure. Now see, second structure. It is called as selection structure selection structure now from the name we will come to know structure which is selecting something see look at this flow chart here we have one condition if this condition is true then we are executing these statements if condition is false then we are executing this statement right so this control structure is selecting some set of actions right if it is true then it is selecting these actions if it is false, then it is selecting this set of actions, right? So, when we are selecting from the set of actions, it is called as selection structure. Now, see, in this case, there are only two options, right? It can be true, it can be false. But there can be some situation when we have multiple options, multiple outputs. So, see, this is condition, right? And it may have multiple outputs. So, see, if output is A, then this set of actions should get executed. If output is B, then this set of actions should get executed. If C, then this set of actions, right? So, here we have multiple outputs, right? In previous case, we have only two outputs. Such selection structure in Apex programming language are implemented by this statement. By simple if, or if else, or nested if, or else if ladder. So, in upcoming video, we will see how these statements are executed or how program for these statements are written. And if we have multiple outputs for this condition, we have multiple outputs. So, it is implemented by using switch when. Now, see if we are familiar with C++ or Java programming language. So, there we have switch case, right? Here we have switch when. Syntax are somewhat different. So, in upcoming video, we will see how to implement switch when in Apex programming language. Next control structure is loop structure. Now, see, we have condition. If condition is true, so we are executing this set of action. Again, condition is checked. If it is true, again, we will execute set of action. Again, we will check the condition. Again, if it is true, again, we will execute set of action. And when condition is false, then we will come outside this loop, right? This is called as one loop or one iteration, second loop or second iteration, third loop or third iteration, right? So, we have this loop until this condition is true. When condition is false, we are coming outside this loop, right? This is called as loop structure. In Apex programming language, this loop structure is implemented by for, for while or by do while. Just similar to C++ and Java programming language. There also we have for, while, do while. In same way, in Apex programming language, we have for, while and do while. So, in upcoming videos, we will see how these control structures are implemented in Apex programming language. In this video, we have seen what are the different types of control structures. So, friends, I hope you like this video. If yes, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So, stay connected. Thank you.